Mr. Speaker. Marama Davidson. Tēnā koe, Mr. Speaker. Tēnā tātou e te whare. I rise to wish everyone in this house a restful, loving and Merry Christmas. This job is a privilege and I'm honoured to be doing it, but of course, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing my whānau and spending time in a house that doesn't start with a capital H. True to the Christmas spirit though, today I do want to acknowledge those who will be doing it real hard over the coming few months and won't have the relaxing holiday that we in this house expect. Of course, the original meaning of Christmas tells the story of a young woman and her husband trying to find safe lodging so she could give birth. As we know, there was no room at the inn. I find it interesting that in this country, we are now celebrating that biblical night amidst a severe housing crisis. In fact, in fact, in the 24 hours or so that Jesus's whanau were house hunting and giving birth to him, an Auckland home in April this year would have risen in value by over $1,000 in that same 24-hour period. In October, John Campbell broadcast a piece for Radio New Zealand which echoes what I know about those doing it tough. Entitled Payday is Broke Day, Campbell interviewed people from the Monaco region where I live. In his piece, we heard from a range of people, some working two or more jobs, who have high aspirations for themselves and their families and are doing all they can to stay afloat. But our economy is far from rock star, uh, and for many, payday is broke day. And so the hardships have huge impacts on our children and on us all. So John Campbell caught people at the Manurewa train station on their work commute to capture some of those stories. That was my train station that John Campbell was standing at. I also want to acknowledge those organisations urging us towards a fairer, more vibrant Aotearoa. The report of the Child Poverty Monitor, soon to be released, shows that in 1984, 15% of children we're in poverty, whereas today it's 29%. So it has doubled in a generation. And anybody who would like to join this campaign, grab one of these, take a selfie. All of you National Party members, I completely urge you to put a selfie up of this on all of those fabulous Facebook pages that you all have. Uh, also, UNICEF has called on New Zealanders to stand with our children in the Make My Future Fair campaign. They reiterate that it is government policy which has the single biggest impact on child poverty rates, not economic growth alone. Still, still, people will do the best they can with what little they've got this Christmas and my heart goes out to Sarah Dowie. I hope you are going to be okay with your struggles over your passport application. Um, and, you know, people will provide their, for their families, love them and keep them safe. Our communities prove their resilience in the face of such hardship and I'm proud of the Green Party for continuing to be a voice for our struggling communities because we've got years of research and expertise. We don't need more research. We need action and we need it now. That'd be a lovely Christmas present. We need for this house to choose the positive solutions and I will be stubborn about giving every child a chance, Mr Speaker. Uh, just before I got into Parliament, I was agonising uh, with someone over my own rental housing challenges. Uh, someone, and he blurted back at me, well soon you won't have to worry about any of that because you'll be an MP. Oh, that response just speaks for itself. But in contrast, I just recently spoke at the Safe Sleep Day Hui held on Manurewa Marae. I acknowledged the incredible difference that wahakura, or woven safety sleep pods, have been making in a short time in keeping more babies alive. Weavers all around the country love loving into our communities and families and making a powerful statement from the start that every newborn is a taonga. I'm here to them all. 
Okay, so my father's in the gallery. He's uh, deeply immersed, he deeply immersed us in Shakespeare all of our lives, and right now he's in the middle of a two-year tour with the Globe Theatre, so right now he is cursing all of us and the use of us fellas grammars in this house, <laughs> I can assure you. Um, he wanted to actually put my entire speech through and need it. But I acknowledge my father, who wasn't here for my maiden speech, and as you might recall, Mr Speaker, yes, I'm winding it up, we had an eventful start to my past parliamentary career, um, but Parliament TV has now become a staple in the lounge room of my family's house, a uh, top drama reality show, uh, and I'm thankful to be here to give them that opportunity to watch this sort of TV. I close, Mr Speaker. Um, I, Metedia has called me the puppy dog enthusiast new MP. Long may that last. Kia ora koutou katoa. Have a Merry Christmas. Scott. Simpson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.